guys, my name is Kayla Baker. I am an event coordinator at First Service Residential, which is a property management company. I am so excited to be speaking here for Calm Week. Um, it's unfortunate that we have to do this virtually, but um, blessed that we can still do that anyways, right? Um, so the first question I will be answering was why I chose event planning. Um, I am a very outgoing and social person, and I love making people happy. That's where I get my happiness. So creating events and seeing different people come together um, is very rewarding for me. And I'm also very creative and artistic, so you know, party planning and colors and cute ideas are very fun um, and with that my organization skills I realized that event planning was the career for me um, I love working hard to create an event and then seeing the beautiful event um, at the, like the end result and seeing my vision come to life it's it's one of the best feelings and it's so it's so fun um, second question what kind of experience did you have in event planning prior? So I was actually the green room coordinator for Calm Week, um, which is an event planning class. Um, it was such an amazing experience and I would recommend anyone who is interested in event planning to do the class with the amazing Rashidi. Um, you definitely learn a lot. Um, with getting a lot of hands on. I think it's very important um, when learning a career, an industry, hands on is where you truly learn a lot other than, you know, textbooks. Um, and I also did a small internship with Karma International. They are an organization of, it's kind of like a club for older, somewhat older people but they um, have a lot of different parties and they do a lot of networking so I was fortunate to be able to do that internship from an actual classmate who was um, working for them as well so I got to I did like one week in the office um, you know kind of learning what they do helping um, with the core for one of their events that they're about to have and doing data entry uh, but any events that they were having they would reach out to me and I would work um, either like check-in stands or the customer service booth so if anyone had any issues they would come to me um, and also help setting up these events as well it was very fun uh, I loved it and besides that, I also uh, worked for Insomniac for about two years doing headliner experience um, for any festivals that I was available for. So they kind of, um, you know, you, you go through the application process, you do the interview, and then any um, festivals that you're available for, you get to work and do different um, positions such as info booth or ticket scanning, lost and found, um, so it's somewhat in kind of the event world. Um, so that was an amazing experience as well, it got to meet a lot of great people, um, experienced a bunch of different positions and skills. <clears throat> and third question was, what should students at CSUF do now to get prepared for an event planning career? And I highly suggest getting involved. Um, take the event planning class, join a club, and apply for a position in the club, any kind of leadership skills. Um, uh, join a sorority or a fraternity and apply for the social chair. You um, plan you know, their um, bid days and their formals and any kind of you know senior senior banquets so that's also a very good opportunity to get some more hands-on event planning experience 
And the last one is definitely internships. These are huge. Um, I know a lot of internships are unpaid, but you, the best way to get into a company is to start off with an internship. And it looks very good on your resume and just gaining as much knowledge and experience through internships is the best advice I could give you. It's, it's, I'm truly thankful for how everything laid out for me, doing the event planning class, doing the, an internship, and you know, getting all of that experience has led me to where I am today. <clears throat> and fourth question is, what are the most important skills to develop to becoming um, successful in event planning? I definitely would say time management it is a stressful job. You will be juggling multiple different tasks, multiple different events. Um, so staying on top, staying organized, giving yourself extra time before events for any kind of errors to go wrong because you'll never know, you know, parking, unloading, um, something breaking and you're going to have to brainstorm and you know a solution um, but definitely organization is also a huge one um, staying on top of everything doing checklists and overly following up with all your vendors is very important make sure everyone knows the information everyone is on top of everything it is definitely huge and creativity is also another one um, you do have to get very creative when it comes to event planning and according to a space how can you fit you know a booth somewhere and you have to be cautious of safety like uh, ma the maximum amount of people that can be there making sure the exit doors are open um, there's a lot to go into it so you just gotta get creative with it um, brainstorm t think of you know different ideas that can make an event successful and unique. Um, next question is, how can CSUF students get their foot in the door for event planning? Again, start with Calm Week, it's amazing. Find an internship. Um, I used to work for Tildon Group, which is an event planning company. I was there for almost two years. Um, I love Tildon Group. They do a bunch of different events from um, weddings, corporate events, music events, birthday parties, Vegas trips, college events, nightclub events, bachelor, bachelorette, travel accommodations, class reunions, transportation. They do everything. So you would get a very wide variety of experience from them. Um, I, they are always looking for internships. They're a great company. They have my heart. I love them so much. Um, I was the operations manager um, after my internship. Um, went to part-time, then operations manager. So there's definitely room for growth. And um, that's another good thing about internships. Next question is, what is your favorite part of your job? I love working these events. Um, you know, though you're not attending and you can't um, fully enjoy yourself because you are working, but coordinating is fun because you still get to enjoy yourself. You get to see, um, you know, watch the entertainers that you hired and you can take pictures in the photo booths for memories and um, seeing everyone happy and enjoying the event. Um, working on a wedding for almost a year you know, scheduling the flapper girls, creating the ice sculptures, the customized drink menu, creating the lights and decor that goes perfectly with the theme, and then experiencing it all together is amazing. So my favorite part is working the, the events once they come. Next question is, <clears throat> what is one particular challenge that you have faced in your job that you are successful in working through? Um, with event planning, there is customer service 100%, um, so handling upset clients um, is definitely something you will have to face. 
So you need to have good customer service skills and I think my best advice is to try your best to not take things personal. Um, you know, they are upset with the situation, not you as a person. Um, and with event planning, hardly and everything will be perfect. There will always be some sort of stress or mix up or mistake and just know that that is normal and to just, you know, do smart thinking and, and think of the client and make them happy and like, okay, what can we do? Like, how can we make this better? And um, just being creative with it. So, um, yeah, as, as long as you stay organized, create those checklists, follow up with your vendors, give yourself extra time for those errors, you can try to prevent them as much as you can. But when you are dealing with an upset client, I always like to use uh, this acronym called LAST, which is you listen, you apologize, you solve, and you think. So they always want to make sure that they feel like they're being listened to. You want to greatly apologize for the mix-up. You solve the solution as best as you can and then you thank them for telling you because it is giving you the chance to make their experience better. Next question is, does your company um, organize or does your company offer internships? Yes, Till Dawn does offer internships. Um, you can apply through Titan Connect. Um, right now, I'm actually at First Service Residential. I just started about a month ago. Um, I'm not sure if they offer internships, but I can definitely find out and let you guys know. Um, we have a small department for lifestyle for the lifestyle team. Um, so I would say if you're looking to do an internship, definitely look more towards um, an event planning company or maybe hospitality um, is another one that you can look for in internships that do event planning. Um, what is, next question is, what is one particular thing you wish you knew about event planning that you didn't know going into your career? It is very stressful. I knew that it would it was stressful but again you are juggling a lot of different things but you need to kind of have the work ethic that you love being busy you don't like being bored um, having many things to work on being good at multitasking if you are very organized and can handle stress well then event planning could be for you next question is um, with the recent issues of COVID-19, how has your position in event planning changed? Um, a lot of events have been canceled um, due to social distancing, but this is where the creativity comes into play. Um, I brainstormed and thought of a lot of events for the communities that my property management company runs um, so that they can still feel connected to help them through this time and some such events that I I thought of was you know the Easter Bunny driving through the neighborhood waving hi since you know they don't get to meet him um, a bird watching event um, you know staying inside your house or on your porch and backyard um, online cooking classes kind of doing like a secret Santa for the neighbors kind of you know making sure everything's sanitized but dropping things off to a neighbor, um, toilet paper, hand sanitizer, just to you know, spread hope and feel like the community is still connected. Um, and they're helping each other through this hard time. Um, sidewalk chalk was another one. Um, so there are still events that you can create virtually or with social distancing. So just gotta get creative. Um, yeah, so I told you a little bit about Till Dawn Group and all the different events that they um, do. Um, it's a very fun company. I loved it so much. Um, and with First Service Residential, um, I 
you know, help communities um, do events for each other, such as summer concerts, you know, pools, poolside music. Um, it's, it's definitely, um, it's still event planning, but I, it's towards a specific um, category rather than Till Dawn Group was a wide range, which was so much fun. Um, so I'm so blessed that I had the opportunity to work with Till Dawn Group, learn from them, grow my skills, and now work for um, a huge corporate company that has communities all over um, California and Arizona, even Canada. So um, definitely so blessed for going to school, joining a sorority, joining clubs, doing the event planning class, doing internships. It is, that's what life is about. It's about um, experiencing, growing your knowledge, and seeing where life takes you. And I wish the best for all of you. And if you want something, go get it. Stay driven. Um, there is something out there for you guys. And if you guys have any questions, you can email me at kayla.baker at fsr as uh, fsresidential.com so fsresidential.com all right guys stay safe out there um i'm sorry that we're going through this hard time right now but just stay positive and keep going keep thriving okay bye